Hi, everybody. I have a doctor's appointment today, so I won't be in here for fifth period, but super important um, that you pay close attention this um, period because this is our beginning preparation for um, our final. So you will have a project for our final, and our final is going to be um, oral where you're going to present your information. Um, everything that you write, I will grade um, for your sentence structure, making sure that you have complete sentences, making sure that your grammar is correct, and making sure that I understand your message, okay, what it is that you were intending to put in your sentences. I want to remind you that everything should be authentic which means there's no copy and paste from books, there's no copy and paste from the internet, information that you find. Um, when you do use information from the books or information from the videos that we saw, you can use exactly the words that the people say, but you have to put it in quotation marks. Okay? So we're going to go ahead and start today. Um, Today is Thursday, so I'm going to expect you to be sending me a picture of your learning objective. Uh, first learning objective, I will participate in the class discussion to prepare for my final. Um, I'm going to, Ms. Chia is going to pause the areas in the video when um, you're going to talk about it. She's going to be talking, having a conversation with Juan Carlos, Juanito, and Brenda, and you will be um, listening to that. You can participate in that by either speaking, because we have a new camera and mic, or you can put your thoughts in the chat. Okay. Number two, I will share my thoughts in the chat or in class. That is exactly what I was talking about earlier. If you feel comfortable, you can just um, raise your hand or say, Ms. Chia, I would like to share. And you can speak what um, you want to say and the class will hear you. Okay. Uh, I will answer the questions in writing using complete sentences. We do have a graphic organizer uh, that I have put in our video channel in our Teams class, and it is under week 15, day four, period five. You will need to click on that link you have to make a copy of the document and save it under your name and fill it out. Okay, I am going to put an assignment in on Canvas where you will be able to upload that work into our Canvas class. All right, so we're going to start. Our topic or our theme these last three weeks has been relationships. We watched a couple of videos on relationships. You had a video response sheet. For your final, you will be able to use all those as notes, okay? So I want you to think about what are some examples of relationships? What relationships do you have? What types of relationships are, are out there? Think about teenagers. Who do they have relationships with? What type of relationships are they? Are they strong relationships? Are they important relationships? Are they casual relationships? Um, is there such a thing as an intimate relationship? Who do you have intimate relationships with? Intimacy is a word that we use when we're talking about people that you really trust and you can confide in. Okay. So what kind of relationships do you have that are intimate, that you really share who you are with, what's important to you, what you care about? All right, so Ms. Chia will pause, and you guys will have a little conversation. I want you in your notes section, I would like you to make a list of what kind of relationships there are, what kind of relationships you have, and what type of relationships are they. Okay. Hopefully you guys have talked about your relationships, made a list. Now, I want you to think of, are relationships important to teenagers? How so? 
Should teenagers have different relationships? What relationships are most important to teenagers? Okay, so have a conversation about that. And as you guys are um, discussing this question, you should be taking notes on your paper. So Ms. Chia can press pause. You guys can have your conversation. Make sure to take some notes. Okay, your next question. Which relationships are critical for teenagers to have and care for? So I want you to think about the relationships that you have and which ones, which ones of those relationships do you think are critical, are super important for you to have and for you to take care of? Okay, I want you to give examples. And I want you to, here's where I want you to start thinking about the discussions that we've had, the story. I want you to think about the story of Sophia's relationship with her mother, Sophia's relationship with her cousin Berta, and Sophia's relationship with her father. In the uh, chapter four, we see um, how Sophia has a relationship with her father and how that um, comes about. And also about the video that we've seen. We've seen a couple of videos. Also use information that you've read, that you've seen. I want you to think about your personal experiences here. Okay? I want you guys to have a conversation of that. Remember, when you're, when you're having your discussion, you are taking notes. And I want you to take notes on what relationships you think are critical or very, very important for teenagers? And how do teenagers take care of their relationships? How do you take care of your relationships that are important for you? What are some of the things that you do? So those are some of the notes that I want you to take. Okay, we're going to pause. All right. Now, your last question is, what are your important relationships? This is just about you. Question number four only applies to you. This is your section where you're going to talk about what relationships are important to you and how you foster and how you value those relationships. So the word foster is another word um, that means taking care of your relationships and developing them to make them better. Okay, So think about a garden. How do you foster your garden? Do you water it every day? Do you go and take the weeds out of it? Okay, Think about the relationships that you have. First of all, identify which are the most important to you. And then think about why they're important to you. That's the value part. Okay, why do you value them? Why are they important to you? And then talk about fostering. How do you take care of those relationships? And you have to pick two relationships that are important to you. And you have to explain um, how much do you value them? Why are they important to you? And explain how you take care of them. So in this part, maybe with Ms. Chia, she can help you organize your notes so that you can identify the two relationships, and then you can maybe make a list, and then under each relationship or to the side of each relationship, you can put um, how do you value them? Why are they important? Okay. And then how do you foster them? What do you do to take care of those relationships? So in the value part, I want you to think about what if you didn't have those relationships? What if all of a sudden you would lose that relationship? How would you feel? Um, when you are done with these, uh, taking your notes and doing your questions, um, I'm going to want you to answer these questions. This is after your notes, okay? Now, uh, one of the things that you will have on your paper is you'll have a sentence frame right here, okay? 
You can use that sentence frame or you cannot use that sentence frame. It's really up to you. Now the sentence frames are there um, simply because it's important to learn the correct structure. So this is what your paper looks like. This is what the document looks like after you download it and you make a copy. As you see right here, it says, please make and save a copy of this document, even before you start typing. I'm just going to show you real quick. You go to File, you go to Save a Copy, okay? You might, yours might look different than this, and you would say, Save a Copy Online. First thing that you do when, you're, when the little box comes up, you put your name on in front of the title, and then you push Save. Okay, the document will turn off and turn back on. Then you, up here in the corner, you'll see your name and you'll see the little circle with your initials. Do not write on this until you see your name and the initials on the top right corner. So here's where you'll take notes with Ms. Chia, where you guys are having your discussion. Okay, here is where um, we're going to work on sentence frames. So uh, what are some examples of relationships? So very simple, some examples of relationships are This is a very simple frame, okay? Very. And I might put one or two sentence frames in here for you. You can use whichever one you want. Here is where I'm going to want to have your final answer. Here is where I'm going to ask you to please take your time, write your sentence, do all of them, then go back. Reread your sentences. Make sure you have a capital. Make sure you have a period. Make sure that you are spelling your words correctly. Okay? Um, and this is what you're going to submit to me. On Canvas, if you're here in class, just you're going to leave it here on my table before you leave. All right. This is our class for today after your discussion. Uh, those of you that are home, you're going to work on this document. You're going to turn it in on Canvas. It will be due tomorrow. Okay. Um, I am going to ask you to give me some time to put the assignment on Canvas. Um, if it's not there during fifth period, it will be there by the end of the day. All right, guys. Hope you have a great day. I will see you and talk to you um, on Tuesday. On Tuesday, I'm going to give you all of your guidelines, all of the criteria for your final project, which will be due on Friday. Our final is Friday of next week. You will be uh, presenting it. Uh, and on Tuesday, I will give you a little bit more information on how you will do that. Okay, have a great day. Bye.